let's do it. Three, two, one. Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Artie Mangle, and welcome to Let's Play Magic Duels. I've never played something like this on YouTube before, so I thought I'd go ahead and play it for you. And I have played Magic the Gathering in your life. I do have a deck right here, just so you see it. And uh, what this game is, is that you collect cards through the game, and you do this by doing various quests or winning battles. As of right now, as of this video, as of 2017, we are on the Amonkhet block for the summer, and then sometime during the fall, we will uh, going off into another uh, another set break. The store mode is also a way you can get coins to buy booster packs on the store market. <clears throat> Which, uh, I haven't beaten Aether Revolt yet, but we're not going to do that, because that would just be boring. You want me to see, you know, actually, uh, battling online people, which I'm able to do, but I'm able to buy a booster pack. So, I'm going to buy an Amonkhet booster. One booster costs us 150, so I'm just going to do this for confirm purchase. Purchase successful. Let's open it, let's see what we get. Please be something, at least something with cycling in it. Oh, hello, Nahab. This is now my second Watchers of the Dead. Okay. Uh, Ronus's Monument is pretty good. Okay, so we didn't get anything like. No. Too amazing. But. We can do better though. So let's go on ahead. And let's just go into battle mode. Okay, now we're going to versus mode, and I'm going to use uh, my Eldrazi Madness deck. Each time you win a duel, you get 30 points. And if it's your first win of the day, then you get an additional 20 points, I think. Drink it to the Mountain Dews, bruh. I have a mic, damn it. There we go. That's a lot more comfortable now. Okay, so I'm going just to assume this guy is running like uh, black blue. That's what I'm going to assume. I'm running blue, black, green. So it's an old Drazi deck. What else can you expect? Yeah, see, this is the thing I hate about this game because if someone leaves and becomes an AI, then you don't get the coins. Although, if you were to do it in the middle of the game instead of at the beginning, then you do get the coins. But you gotta make sure you press end game when it pops up. Which for me, since I didn't mulligan, I'm gonna have to concede the duel. Which, the only way you can actually possibly get those coins if he concedes, instead of exiting out the game, you know, by pressing that X button up there. He or she at least. So let's find another player. Okay. I'm at least hoping this is one of those fucking bitches that use a hundred card decks and make them, you know, tricolored or something. And made the deck like you know extremely overpowered I'm going to hate myself if I find one of those people I've ran into those kind of people before but they are fucking assholes they love to give people a chance okay 
I can already tell this guy's going to be a bitch. Okay, at least he's not a hundred card deck. Goody goody two shoes. I don't think I have good enough of a hand though, so I'm just going to draw a new one. This is better. Okay. I'm going to lay down this first. Okay, so he has black and red for now. Okay, I can tell this guy's not going to be a bitch. I think I'm just going to play this down. Okay, what I need right now is to have a Eldrazi card with uh, Embalm on it. Hold that thought. Want to see what this is? Yeah, first strike. Whatever. I'm just not going to block it. I'm just going to keep both of those open so I can take out that child of night. This guy should not be a big threat to us. Or maybe he just will. Cause this guy's a fucking asshole! I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Nope, not happening, bud. Not the freaking happening. I forgot how you exit out of that. I forgot how you do that. Well, damn it.
Oh hey, I drew a bristling Audra. How about that? See what's next. Forest. Aether Hub. Another Aether Hub. This is a partial of my deck, by the way. Team with Aether. Forced. There's my third Aether Hub. There's the fourth one. I actually put it back on top, my bad. Forced. Uh, Sky Skiff. Renegade for Rider. Two with Aether. Swamp. Mountain. This is Jund Energy, by the way. Unless it's, excuse me, unless it's integration. Forced. I'm gonna to get to some of the interesting cards in here. Game's about to start, so I better find it fast. Here we go. You guys may actually like this card, but I do have a walking ballista. If you'd like to read the card, go ahead and pause the video here. And yes, these are Ultra Pro sleeves, only because I'm kind of tight on money. I can't get better. I would much rather have a uh, dragon shield, but you know, I was kind of on a budget, so I couldn't really do anything. Okay, so I I don't even know anymore. I hate people do that. Okay. I hate it when they do that. There's good old Gideon right there. Gideon's pretty good. Let's see if I can make the strength status higher. Because it seems like there's more control and... Uh, So I'm going to change it up a little bit just to see what we can do and make it better. Let's just see here. That's not what I wanted. Probably because I have more spells than I do creatures. I can get rid of a few spells in here. I don't think I really need the cartouche anymore. So I can just take those out. I'm going to get rid of this right here. And maybe suspension bonds. I don't know. Okay, let's go to the filters. Black and white are my colors. Lie.
Okay, let's check out white now. cartouches so I can't really use that I don't honestly know anymore I might not you know be able to use black white you know the way I wanted to So I think I'm just going to delete this one and I'm just going to redo it I guess and make it different colors. Okay so let's see. I do have Chandra Torch of Defiance but I'll have other red cards to make her you know no, very good. I can try and go for a blue red. I can actually make a red green because there is a quest I'm trying to do where I have to cast uh, 15 red or green cards. Which, if I make a red green deck, then I can just get it pretty easily because I only have four more of those cards that I can, uh, you know, I have to cast and then I'm done with that. Then I get 80 coins, I believe. So those of you who are long-term players, I want to show you it. Here's my Chandra Torch Defiance. Now, uh, the first day I played this, I opened two packs of Kaladesh. But I played this when uh, Aether Revolt came out. So, uh, yeah. I played this like a month after Eighth Revolt came out, and I opened a pack of uh, two packs of Kaladesh, and on the second pack, I got Chandra Torch of Defiance, and that right there is my best pull. There's no way I'm ever going to get a better pull like that again. There's never going to be one. So, so if you want to read her effect, then pause the video and do so. So, I have it right here. Now, uh, I need to choose some other red cards to use. Something that can be played fairly fast. I do want to have a Harness Lightning, which I do think was a pretty good pull. Because Harness Lightning is pretty good. But having only one of him, it's just... That's very chancy for me. That's why I never ran him. Or it. I could build like a red and green vehicle deck. Because I do. Or I could build like a. Red, red and green. Uh, vehicles deck. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. This wasn't too good of a pull, to be honest. So let's see if we can make a red green here. Um, we have an Inferno Fist. Twin Bolts. I mean, for a little bit of a removal on the earlier game side, then yeah, we can use that. We have four copies of those. I guess we're going to use that. I guess we can use uh, Infernal Fist to which I think we're only going to do three of or four of somewhere around there.
Uh, this will help out some of our vehicles so that way we don't have to prove them. Yeah, that's already 15 spells, so I need to go kind of creature heavy on this. And these are the only three creatures that I have. Damn. I didn't even know I put that in there. Jesus. Okay, maybe not use Sage Modification. And maybe not Infernal Fist. Uh, I don't know. Let's just keep it at this for right now. Let's actually remove Twin Bolt. We're just going to uh, put the cards in here. That will go good for. A, uh, I'm gonna go for the cards that will be good for uh, red and green. We could just like splash red in here with Chandra. You might just do that. I don't know if I want to do that or not, though. He could try it, though. Okay, so it's going to splash white, and it's going to be a green and white with some vehicles in it. running a green white we may as well just put fog in here Yeah, I do have another tiger, which is pretty good. Again, we are splashing red here, so... I think I'm going to put that in. Okay. 
now I need to look at some white cards. at the mana curve. Uh, I need to put some two drops in. I do need more removal. So out Nimbus Swings and put in this Bristle instead, just so I have that added removal. And I'm going to go back here. Fly. Going back to red. I do have to put artifacts in here. Okay, so so far I have. Whoops. Did not mean to put that in there. Let's get some one drops in here. I actually need some evasion. Some uh, pretty good evasion. Um, Menace would be pretty good, but I don't have a lot of discarding cards. But I'll put them in. Because, you know, Menace, because why not? So that is a total of seven one drops. I'm gonna go back over to white here. Choose some evasion cards in here. I could give my creatures evasion with this, so yeah, I'm gonna try that just to see what happens. Some more evasion. 31. Total of 19 creatures.
I can use suspension bombs on planeswalker, but I shouldn't have to deal with them a whole lot, so I should really run only two. Yeah, I think I'm only gonna run two because I won't need them a whole lot. Wait a minute. Vehicles don't count as creatures. Well, fuck. Um. Oh well. I'm just gonna count them as creatures anyway. Turning a total of five different vehicles. Go a size gift. Renegade for Rider. Put that in. So that's 39. I'm just gonna make it 37. Actually, I don't even think I'm going to use my nimble things. Nah, that'd bring that down by a whole lot. I don't have a lot of cards that I can use for discarding at all. So then I'm just going to get rid of these. Then I'm going to add the three suspension fields. I mean, that isn't too bad, is it? I mean, that's 37. But, you know what, I don't go higher than 38, and I don't go lower than 36. So I think we're good here. I am done and I'm just going to press autocomplete just to put the lands in there you know now uh, this game actually corrects it to do 24 lands so sometimes it goes like to 21 but I can always fix that by getting rid of, of one of the lands and then that should fix it yeah they always do something like that which I never understood why but we are done. And save changes. Ah, it's not even that fast. Oh wait, no, 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 never mind. Yeah, we can go faster, but this will have to do. And if you're wondering on what quest I'm trying to do, the quests are 
speed and strength, which I can cast 15 red or green spells to get 80 point, 80 coins. Then I need to cast 20 artifacts to get 120. And then I need to put 15 minus one, minus one counters on creatures I control, but I don't have any creatures that I can do that on. I mean, I do have a lot of creatures I can put minus one, minus one counters on, but I would rather have them being placed onto my opponent's creatures unless my creatures told me to do so on mine specifically which I only have one creature that does that so I'm just going to these two for now and then I'm going to uh, they have this refresh button by the way which I never understood why Champion of the Drowned Catacomb. Win two games in which you cast a blue or black spell. Isn't that an achievement? So, we'll do that quest here in just a second. So we're going to do the top one first, the one that we're about to uh, already do. And by the way, you need to do it in versus match. You can't do it in story mode. You can't do it with a friend. You have to go on a ranked match in order to do it. Syndicate just went live. Okay, this should be a fair game. Let's do it. Okay, I'll keep this. Gotta wait on him. So he's gonna play first. Going into my turn, let's see what I draw. I draw a planes. So I'm going to put down a stone quarry first. Even though I have a one drop, I want to put it out there just so I can have it out there that I can spawn in a three drop, you know, in one less turn. Then after that, I'm going to use this and then spawn this in. The reason why this isn't fast is because, well, quite frankly, there isn't any creatures in here that have haste. So that's probably why. Okay. Let's just continue on. I'm not going to give it flying just yet. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, I'm not going to attack. I'm not going to attack. This might seem a little bit boring to you guys, but I have nothing else better to do. I can't even play Minecraft because of this computer right here. So this is the best I can do until I get a new graphics card, bro. This is the best I can do.
Cast a twin bolt. Do one to the player and one to the elf. I'm gonna pull out a suntail hawk. Now attack four. He had no creatures, so I kind of had to. And I'm gonna just do that. I'm trying to intimidate him a little bit. That's a magic term. The fuck did he just do? He actually has a hundred card deck. Why do you do that, bro? Why do you have a hundred card deck? Destroy your cage with flying. Plummet, bro. Just plummet. Grapple the path. What? Wait, what the fuck was that? Sky Hunter, bro. Take me on now. But this is a 1-1 one -one with double strike. For three mana. But you know what? I can always just make it bigger. I don't even know what this is. Fuck off, bro. Oh my god, the Tyler's tracker. Okay, I'm able to get rid of that, by the way. Just let you know that. I'm able to get rid of that easily. Unless you have a boss with a fence at hand. So, what's even the point, bro? What's even the point? Power four or greater. So as long as he doesn't get rid of that, I can't use that. But I will exile it. We 
which means he cannot use those two artifacts right on there. So just swing two in the air. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Activated abilities are not supposed to. Oh, it's a triggered ability. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It's a triggered ability. My bad, bro. But hey, you're just doing it for the card draw, bro. It's not like you can't attack with it. It doesn't even really have some of the good artifacts. So just what the actual hell? Yeah, I was about to say, why was he holding back? No! Okay, I see how it is, bitch. Okay, you will become tied then. Okay, but just try and make it a 10 10 again like that, or 11 11, or whatever the fuck it is. Just try that again. Just try it. Actually, I have two, so yeah. I am going to get rid of your uh, thing just so you can't get any card draw. Because that's so much card draw for freaking green, bro. Now try and turn it into an 11 11 again. I dare you. I dare you. I can just go fuck off. I'm going to do that in just a second. Chandra, motherfucker. I'm just going to minus three or just to destroy that creature. Now I'm done with it. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Just, uh, just have to make sure that I plus one or the next turn unless he finds a way to kill it. But that shouldn't be an issue.
I just gotta keep on doing damage to him now. Already has flying, but whatever. I won't be able to cast it, but whatever. It'll deal damage to you anyway. Okay, it didn't because it was a land, but whatever. Because lands don't have a converted mana cost. just cast it. Now I'm hoping that he doesn't have a fog. Oh, he does have a fog. But whatever. I'm okay with that. Okay, gotta have this resting on my ear. Sorry if this is a little bit laggy, but, you know, I, I gotta work on my stuff, bro. I'm working with what I have, okay? But you can't exactly see his life total, but I'm going to take the game. No, he's going to get his ass kicked, bro. He knows. Is that I'm going to just be? Okay, I have those 80 coins. And then I get. Yeah, it's 20. Now I'm at 130. Now, we are going to cut this short, so note to self. Quests. The quest slot. So we're going to go one more duel, and then we're going to end it up uh, right there, guys. Three v three, okay. Okay, so he does have sleeves, but I think I'll keep this. Play a mountain. And 
end up with that. be okay with that. You wanna know why? Because I can do this. I'm going to do one to you. It's a red, red, white versus a red, white. And it looks like I have the better red, white. the charger might just skip my attack I'll go ahead and crew this. Okay. He knows I would kick his ass too. So now we can buy one more booster pack. Now since that was, you know, unintentional of what he was trying to do. I'm actually going to go buy another booster pack. And I think I'm going to go with another... I'll end cat pack, so let's do it. Confirm the purchase. And then open up the booster. Let's see what we get. So we get magma spray. Yeah, woo! Yeah, I got something good, bruh! Yeah, that, that was a pretty good pull. This is a pretty good card right here. Because it's blue proof. And it makes your creatures blue proof.
You can honestly make a mono green control proof deck. I got onward to victory. And then victory. Yeah. But I'm glad I got a third sensor, so now I can make, you know, another blue deck. So, I'm going to end the video off here, guys. And if you like the video, smack the like button down below. And let's get to about, I'd say, 50 likes. 50 likes and if I get to 50 likes then I'll make another video on this cuz I know then I'll know that my fans are Magic the Gathering fans as well and I'm not sponsored by this video at all I just really love this game I've been playing it for about three and a half years now so now I'm done and I will see you guys the next